Okay, so I just finished my Love and Hip Hop review, and I'm, I'm I got two bumps right here. Just let it go. Just let it go. But this video is gonna be about body shame. Because I see this a lot online, and I get it a lot. You know, it's fucking rude. But I want to talk about this, because I feel like there is a, a definitely a double standard in a lot of areas where I feel it's just disrespectful in this rude overall, though. So, you know, people, me, I'm five foot four. For those who want to know who have been asking, I am five foot four. I weigh 105 pounds, okay? So I am short, and I am skinny. I've always been that. My mom is short and my daddy is really skinny. So um, I got the best of both worlds, I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, but with that being said, um, a lot of times if I post a picture of myself, like let's just say this picture of myself out um, or this one, people will be like, it's always one bitch. You're so skinny. You should eat something. You should do this and you should do that. And I'll be thinking to myself, I probably eat more than an average teenage boy, honestly. I like to eat. I love to eat. I have a very high metabolism and I've always been like that. Um, when I was in junior high school, well, when I was just younger in general, um, I had asthma really, really bad. So they used to give me my inhalers. And when you have really chronic asthma, some of the asthma medicine has steroids in it. I had asthma since birth. So all the way up until I was about 15 or 16, I used to stay in a hospital. So I would take this medicine on a regular basis, which it made me chubby. So when I was in junior high school, I wasn't fat, but I was a little chubbier. Um, once I got into high school, I didn't have to take the medicine as much if at all so the summer between eighth grade and going into ninth grade i lost probably about a good 20 pounds probably 15 to 20 pounds from what i was so and plus i was shorter than what i am now um so the i didn't go to the same high school as the junior high school that i went to that's another story so um i had just got really thin and lean and you know that's and I went to the doctor about it and the doctor was like, this is how, this is the size that you're supposed to be. Like you were too heavy before, like on your frame, because you are a small person that was too much weight. But you know, it's nothing that you can do. Either you don't take the medicine and die, you know, or you just gain a little bit of weight. So I had really didn't notice much of a change in my body until my clothes started fitting a little bit different. And then people that I did go to school with in junior high school started to see a difference. But it was cool with me. I didn't mind it. But I've always been small. Even as a kid, I remember being in like elementary school and everybody thought, you know, when I was in first, second grade, I was supposed to be with the little kindy girl. I was just so little. Um, I was born small. That's, I, that's just always been my life. I got a big mouth, but, you know, I've always been a small individual. So when I get on social media and I see people write very hateful comments either to me or people like Ariana Grande, who's just, she's very small in stature. You should eat something. See, and the thing that I don't like about this and where I find it to be a double standard is if we called you a triple neck fat ass bitch who needs to stop eating, then, then we're wrong for saying that. Janae Aiko, we went to the same junior high school and she's way shorter than me and she's way smaller than me too. But she didn't have a child and people still write in her comments, oh, you're so little, you're so thin, you need to eat something, you need to do this. She's like, I find it to be very, very rude. And I posted that and some people were offended that I posted. They was like, well, you're, you should be happy that your only worry is the fact that you're too thin. You can always eat something. Um, taking weight off is the issue. And I'm thinking to myself, so pretty much I should be grateful that I'm not fat, but take the bullshit that you're giving me because you feel insecure about being fat because at the end of the day i'm not about to sit up here and argue with nobody about my body i don't give a fuck about what you eat how many fucking double cheeseburgers you eat how much kale you eat and you're still not losing any weight i just think that it's just very rude to try to body shame somebody because they're because the way that they look is not to your liking there's a lot of things that i can say about people's appearances and the things that they do on social media that always have a foot in their mouth saying something about someone as they get to a particular point where they feel like, oh, well, I don't like what you said and I'm not fucking with you no more because what I said was the truth. Like, you have to understand, an insult goes both ways. If you talk about me, I can talk about you. If you say something that I don't like, 
I can say something that you're not going to like. That's just how life works. But people don't understand that. And it's it, it starts with respect. You have to respect another motherfucker in order to understand where they're coming from. If I don't respect you, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. And I don't give a fuck how the fuck you feel. So if I tell you, look, this is who I am and this is what it is, you still should eat. Then I say, you know, you should stop eating because the the your clavicle bone is not even motherfucking visible, bitch. You should think about skipping a few meals. Then all of a sudden, I'm the meanest bitch on the internet. And then it turns into you have fans who are bigger and you're going to insult some... Listen, why does everybody want to be my fucking manager? I don't need you to tell me how I should and I shouldn't speak. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand how people have the gall to throw it out there, but then they can't take it. That's the thing that I don't understand. I don't talk about nobody. I mind my own fucking business. If I check my comments and I see a bitch talking shit, I'm going to check that bitch. If her motherfucking stomach is sitting on her lap and that's where I'm going to go with it because she said something about me, though my weave, my lips, my face, or, some, or me as a person, that's where I'm going to go with it. I mean, I can be petty. Trust me. I can be very petty. I'm trying not to be. I haven't been as petty as I could have been in these last, what, four months. But I'm working on it. But I just don't like when people want to sit up there and try to make it seem like, oh, being skinny is the worst thing in the world. I'm not a fucking anorexic. I'm not fucking throwing up. I'm minding my own fucking business on my Instagram that you follow and you got a problem with the way I fucking look. I didn't say shit about your mama. That picture you posted, you know, my MCM where I get my looks from. I don't stoop to your level, but I could. And... You know, what is that going to do? You know, at the end of the day, it's not going to solve or help anything. So, again, just mind what the fuck you say to people. Watch how you say it because you can irritate and aggravate somebody, especially if they keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again. It's like somebody telling you, you know, being black, that's just really not cute. You're like, well, there's nothing else I can do about that. You know what I'm saying? I could go bleach my skin, but that's not going to look... You ever seen Sammy Sosa? Where y'all always yelling somebody bleaching their skin? Go look at his head. Now, that's true skin bleaching, bitch. It ain't pretty. So with that being said, just watch how you come at people. And then also, it was recently, I had posted some picture. I forgot what it was on Instagram. And I have... When people talk shit, I tend to like see it after the fact. Like I don't never see it when they initially put it up. I already see it. After they said it, it's been a couple of hours or, you know, half an hour or whatever. So I go and this one particular dude had said, I forgot what it's, I'll put it right here. This is what it was. I'm just like, you know, whenever somebody talks shit, I always want to figure out who, what kind of person are you? So, you know, you got to click the page. Hopefully it's not a coward who's talking shit from a private page, but he wasn't. Not talking shit from a, from a private page, not the first part. So I go to this page and I'm, you know, the first couple of scrolls, I'm like, why is he sitting down in all these damn pictures? So then I get to a picture, a full body picture, and he's like, I guess with like a biker team or something. And he's paraplegic. Like he cannot walk. He got like jelly legs. And I'm like, for you to be in such a very uh, situation... You shouldn't be talking shit or having, an, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, there's got to be a code of conduct. Like, you can't, you, my dear, need not to talk shit. Because I, I could have said so many things that would have been equally as disrespectful as what he said. And I said, you know, I'm going to take the high road. But I'm still going to throw a little dash of shade up in the air. So I wrote, and I'm just, I, you can see it right here, but I can't right now. So I think... I said, you seem to be some type of handicap. So I'm going to let that one slide this time. The world or life has been cruel enough to you. And it's the truth. You go through these things. So I, I, I just took it as he's mad and sad about the the events and the cards that he's been dealt in life. And he wants to make other people feel the same. And that's what a lot of these people who want to body shame you, that's what they do. Oh, you're too this, you're too that. But they're not perfect either. They have things about them that they don't like and they don't fuck with either. That, But they're not going to tell you. They're going to keep that in their purse. They're going to cry about that to their mother. They're not going to cry to that about you. You know what I'm saying? So, again, in closing, watch what the fuck you say and watch how the fuck you say it and watch who the fuck you say it to. Because one day, somebody's going to clap back at your ass while you're trying to be funny and hurt your motherfucking feelings. Just saying. 
I'm happy to be who I am, the size that I am. And if anybody got a problem with that, that's your, that's your issue. Okay, you're the one with the problem, not me. I'm good. I'm living my life, and you over here judging. <sighs> Bye.